Once you defeat the hordes, you want to ride south and cross the road into the ruined city filled with centipede cardinals. Move through the ruins and follow the slope down by the cliffs until you reach the ruined chapel with stairs leading down to the crypt. At that point, you'll want to use a powerful summon or what skills or spells you have to take out multiple enemies in a tight corner and make sure that you've got good armor with high defiance because that place is teeming with poison spewing lava worms. Finally, hop over the lava pools and provided that you have the great ring of the unsullied, you can rebirth yourself in exchange for a dragon tear. I prefer an exploding tear. If you stack them in your armory together with the holy centipede talisman, the sacred alliance and the royal priest of the Flask of the Fallen Star, you will one-shot a whole lot of early game demigods and almost any player that you go up against. Almost any player you go up against. Never mind your demigods. I've just been up against the killer bush. Well, did you summon a spirit to aid you? Too late. It bit through my trousers already. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> this clearing should provide enough space for some combat and defeat a few demigods. So what is the plan? Take up from where we left off, Standral Castle. Take on Dredg of the Fowl, again. First, be on the lookout for any small niches or crevices in the ruined walls where lesser demons lurk. We need to kill them all one by one. That will take all day. Oh, I get it, <laughs> you little sneak. You've invited Princess 6969. I have. She's already in and waiting for us. She has the spirit-seeking charm that we need to do a mass kill of all the lesser demons. Oh, and that's the only reason. Oh, come on, Nina. She's a vision. A goddess. She is an avatar, Kay. <laughs> if you met her in real life, she's probably just like Nina. Yeah. Oh, I only meant just normal like you. You know he's crazy, Nina. Kay, this isn't going to be like playing online in your mum's living room. That's the whole point, you dumbass. I'm about to give you the most amazing experience of your life. Gaming in the real world! He does know he won't be seeing any of the real world, doesn't he? Just wait. You'll be thanking me by the end of the day. <laughs> and now, by the full force of the Ark of the Fallen Star, my renegades, we jump in and end this game. Oh, okay, okay, Kane, Kane, he's coming in! Nina, throw me an elixir. Right, Kane. Fall, fall! What? Where are my controllers? Ah! Thanks, mate. So you're a friendly NPC, then? Oh. Hello. Have you seen my friends? Did we summon you? A, a blast spirit to fight Dragger the Fowl? Oh. Not... Sorry, mate, not you. No offence. Oh, will thou Darkling leave me? Do not so. What? Darkling? Right, it's night. Your virtue is my privilege. It is not night when I do see your face. Therefore, I think it is not the night. Nor doth this wood lack worlds for company. But for you in my respect are all the world. Well then, how can it be said that I'm all alone when all the world is here to look upon me? You have a very odd way of talking. <laughs> Thou art as wise as thou art beautiful. I'm beautiful. Well, that's a first. You and this place are. <laughs> I can't find the words.
I pray thee, gentle mortal, sing again. Oh, mine ear is much enamoured of thy note, and so is mine eye, and thrall to thy shape. And thy fair virtue's force, the Fostoff move me, on the first view to say, or to swear, I love thee. Love? Me? Well, this could go to my head, which is strangely sore. Ah, I'm gonna have a sh shiner. But what from? One turf shall serve as pillow for us both. One heart, one bed, two bosoms, and one trough. Hang on there. If I'm getting you right, this is a bit fast. I should be getting out of here, not having a snooze or whatever else is on offer. Well, here is my bed. Sleep. Give all his rest. My head does feel strange. I should get back to the others. Out of this wood do not desire to go. Thou shalt remain here, whether thou wilt or no. I am a spirit of no common rate. The summer still doth tend upon my state, and I do love thee. Therefore go with me, and I shall give thee fairies to attend on thee, and they shall fetch thee jewels from the deep, and sing while thou on pressed flowers dost sleep. And I, I will purge thy mortal grossness so, <laughs> that thou shalt like an airy spirit go. You are literally crazy. But, well, yeah, perhaps a few minutes. <laughs> I am suddenly sleepy and rather beautiful and, well, different. Again, no offence. The way you speak is sort of foreign, almost. I mean, uh, I would like to, uh, you know, lie with you. <laughs> Sorry. I've always been rubbish at this kind of thing. Oh, hello. I know you, don't I? Yes, you idiot. It's Nina, who you've known your whole life. What? Don't worry. Your concussion will wake up soon. How? Well, Kane was showing off as usual. He always does when Princess 69, 69 is around. Anyway, he gets overzealous and he takes a massive swipe and knocks out you and Drag Other Fowl. It was quite a hit. Can you remember any of that? Sorry, Rob, mate. You okay? Well, no, he's not okay. Right. Look. I acknowledge I owe you both an apology. Coming out here was a waste of time. You said it, it was pointless. Wait, hang on, Kay. Are you saying that, that hug from Princess 6969 meant nothing to you? She cares about you. She could see how upset you are when you hit Rob, and that counts for something in any world. She's an avatar. You both said it. An avatar? What's up with you? Off with the fairies again? That is exactly it. But you wouldn't believe me. I went somewhere. It was night. A beautiful night full of colours and a, a, a monster. <laughs> um, but kind. And a woman. Her words are hardly understood. Her language was musical. Beyond beauty, unlike anyone I've ever met. That's called a dream. 
And look who's in love with a fantasy character now. Except it wasn't fantasy. But you're not listening to him. Neither am I. How strange is true. I never did believe those antique fables, nor those fairy toys. What are you both on? The lovers and the madmen have such seething brains, such shaping fantasies that apprehend more than cool reason ever comprehends. The lunatic, the lover, and the poet are of imagination all compact. One sees more devils than vast hell can hold. That is the madman. The lover, as frantic, sees Helen's beauty in the brow of Egypt. Such tricks hath strong imagination that if it would but apprehend some joy. How easy is a bush supposed a bear? That reminded me of a song, Nina. You know, the one about a, a tuppence for paper? Paper, paper and string. string. You well, can have your own set of wings. <laughs> With your feet on the ground, you're a bird in fly.